Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome to our Town Hall 8 Let's Play premiere, the first video. And it is exciting, guys. If you guys missed the Town Hall 7 Let's Play where we did the entire thing, we've actually done Town Hall 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all of those, then go check out the Let's Play uh, playlists. We've done playlists for all of these things. But yes, guys, welcome to Town Hall 8, which I think will be probably the most in, uh, popular, so far at least, because I think that Town Hall 8 is when the game really gets interesting. Town Hall 9 is when it gets flippin' awesome, but Town Hall 8 is when stuff gets complicated. So, uh, this is the first time I'm opening up my account where a Town Hall is done. We maxed it out in Town Hall 7, now we're moving on to Town Hall 8. And for four days, I have a plus five hero bonus, uh, power potion, resource potion, and star boost. Star bonus boost, <laughs> which is super exciting. So uh, let's go and uh, have a chat with the base. First of all, I get loads of loot, so I'm going to go ahead and collect all that. Uh, it should be four days, right? Yeah, we got four days left. That's awesome. Let's remove a few of these trunks and stuff. I did take a couple of days off from this account to focus on others. Uh, so yeah, so I've got Barch open again because I specifically like to use Barch at the beginning because that's where you get most of your elixir. The best way to start Town Hall 8 and the Town Hall 8 priorities is first of all you got to clear out some stuff so that you can actually open up your progress base but getting all the new stuff that's always top priority right now obviously I'm not going to do the ones that aren't fast right now but things like uh you know the new storages like there's no reason why you shouldn't get them they're 10 seconds and they'll increase your storage which is never a bad thing um oh hold on let me move remove some trunks and things like that how many builders am i using here what's what's the hold up that's weird oh i've got <laughs> forgot i just started some storage upgrades that was that was what was slowing me down i got some extra gold and uh elixir going on in there Let's continue to clear out all of this. Generally, I do this before I start filming, but again, I, I took a, a little bit of a break. So anyway, I got my storages. Now let's see, what else can I get? I can get this new Archer Tower because why not? Uh, as you guys saw on my ultimate defense guide, if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. It is amazing. It basically approves without a shadow of a doubt that getting the new defenses is highly priority or is a much higher priority than uh, upgrading existing defenses. Like level one defenses give you so much more gains than uh, the upgraded version. And oh my goodness, that was a lot of walls. I'm guessing that means that I'm getting, because the line is, uh, the map is 44 by 44 tiles. So that means that I definitely just got 50 new walls. That's insane. Uh, okay, what else can I get? Uh, all these are a couple of hour upgrades and stuff. So I'm going to wait on that. All the new traps. Okay, look at that. All these are zero second upgrades. This is amazing. Let's get them all. Let's get them all now. And I'm going to have to focus maybe off camera on redesigning my base. Uh, we'll, we'll have to come up with something else because, you know, this Town Hall 7 level base design just isn't going to fly, especially with all of these new things that I'm getting. This is insane. Wow, that was a lot of traps. Okay, so that's done. All of the like immediate upgrades are done. Let's go out, do a couple of raids. I've got a dragon in my CC. Didn't expect that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab some more loot. Obviously prioritizing elixir because let's just brainstorm. What are always your top priorities for day one? Your laboratory, right? You want to upgrade your laboratory. Uh, you want to upgrade your clan castle. And these are if they're available. Like sometimes they're not available. Sometimes you just don't upgrade that particular building at that particular town hall level. But... Uh, once again, laboratory and clan castle, spell factory, very important, and uh, dark spell factory as well. Both of those are super high priority too, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously, like offense buildings, like your like your army camps and your barracks, that's super important too. Like for town hall eight, upgrading your barracks will unlock your Pekka, I believe. I'll have to double check. I think that's true. Uh, I've been playing this game a long time, but like I don't go through Town Hall 7 and 8 and 9 all that often. So, and, and plus now there's the 14 Town Halls. Like it's impossible to keep everything straight. So, what if I were to say send in my king right through this wall? Okay, that wasn't what I expected to happen. Uh, okay, send the dragon in. Send in the dragon! Pop the king's ability! Heal the dragon! I just want the Dark Lich storage. That's all I want. It's all I want. Stupid air defense, leave my dragon alone. Stupid dra Okay. Uh, we may not get to that storage, but at least we're gonna we're gonna get a hit off. We're gonna get a hit off. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Go, 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 go. Okay, I hit it twice. 
Dang it! <laughs> right. That's okay. Ooh, and I didn't even get the whole clan castle. Wow. Okay, well, I still get a good amount of elixir, which is my top priority for day one. So, ooh, I don't have enough troops. That's surprising. Well, uh, let's go ahead and grab 30 more of each of these, which will take a few minutes so I can go over to Builder Base in the meantime. Uh, and let's take a look. I think I've gotten rid of all the stuff that's in the way now. So let's go into my progress base and uh, definitely begin by adding in all the new stuff. And of course, remember, and I've had people complain in every episode of all the previous Let's Plays about these rocks. I know people just cannot get over the fact that the rocks are in the way, but I mean, they don't regenerate. So I want to save them if I can, right? But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Uh, right now, I'm just going to put everything down. I'll reorganize next or between this episode and next episode so that we know what's going on. But right now, I just want to take a look at all of the offense style buildings. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this thing right up there. Okay. It's, it's done. Oh, it's, this is the active. Okay. Wait. Or can't I save it? Okay. <laughs> I was so confused for, there for a second. That was weird. All right. So now that I've done that, uh, let's look at the offense style buildings. First of all, laboratory, right? Laboratory. So 16 hour upgrade, 600,000 elixir. The laboratory is number one priority. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and start this because there's no question that this needs to be upgraded right now. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Bam. Okay, there you go. First upgrade for Tunnel 8, Laboratory in the books. Now, what about the Clan Castle? Clan Castle also needs to be upgraded. So this will allow me to bring a spell to my attacks for the very first time from the Clan Mates. So like a Poison spell or a Free spell, Lightning spell, heck, even an Earthquake spell or a Haste or whatever. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. 1.2 million gold, a one-day upgrade. Three, two, one, bam. Okay, and what about Spell Factory? Spell Factory, yep. Yeah, so Spell Factory does not get an upgrade at Town Hall 8 which is surprising. What about the Dark Spell Factory? Uh, is there a Dark Spell Factory? Have I gotten it yet? No, I haven't gotten the Dark Spell Factory yet. Okay, that's Poison Spells. That's a high priority for sure, but we'll, it's it's going to take some a little bit of time, so I'm going to wait on that. Um, anything else? Obviously, this King gets some upgrades. I've got enough Dark Elixir to do it, so I might go ahead and just do it. Um, obviously, Barracks, and this is going to prove, yes, I unlocked P.E.K.K.A. I was right. That's awesome. And then the Dark Spell Factory, which I, or I'm sorry, Dark Barracks, if you upgrade these, you get Valkyries. And then if you upgrade it again, you get Golems, which both of those are super good for some strategies that I'm going to be trying out here in this Town Hall 8 Let's Play. We're going to be doing so much cool stuff in this Let's Play. It's going to be amazing. All right, so I'm going to request for anything, really. I don't really care with Barch. Now let's go check out Builder Base. Uh, Builder Base. We are, uh, we got a level 10 battle machine, but I need to upgrade my battle machine. So let's go ahead and do this. This is a 1.8 million elixir or builder elixir, and it's going to level nine, which means one more level after this, and then I'll be able to upgrade my builder hall. So let's go. Three, two, one. Bam. Nice. And also the star lab. Can I do anything about that? No. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and boost that. And let's go do a raid, kind of waiting a little bit for my barge raid to be done. I can't believe I didn't have enough troops. Like I'm a little bit confused about that. Maybe it's because I never updated the quick train option. I don't know. It's, it's weird to me. Gem mine. Oh, you're the very best. You're the best thing ever. Okay. Uh, fire works. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the storage working on right here. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Get rid of this army camp. And yeah. So most of the focus now needs to be up, uh, up on the top because this is going to clear up. I'd like to get in there and get this air bomb taken down. Um, if I had my battle machine, it would be probably a little bit easier. In fact, I don't think I've got enough to get this done. No, I don't. Okay, so that means that I'm going to need to just collect some percentage points, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to collect some percentage points. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to that builder hall. So let's see if we can get a higher percent one star in case they only one star or zero star. If they only zero star, then that would be nice too. But yeah, guys, Town Hall 8. Oh, man, this is just awesome. I cannot wait. I mean, so again... Uh, the golems are actually really high priority for Town Hall 8 because the very best strategy, in my opinion, for Town Hall 8 is go hobo. Golems, hogs, and CC bowlers. That's, to me, that's the very best strategy, and it's all, it's been the best strategy for years. I can three-star pretty much any Town Hall 8 with it, so that, that is, that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, 66%, let's go. Uh, unfortunately, I got three-starred, so that's a bummer, but, you know, it is not surprising, to be honest. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's go see. 
Even though I lost, it was still good, right? It's good because it sets me in the right trophy level. Uh, 45 seconds until these are done. That's not a problem. Pretty sure that I already know what the other top priority upgrade is going to be, and that's going to be this Dark Spell Factory. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring this over and upgrade it. It's going to be a lots of elixir, but it's worth it, okay? So, uh, again, unlocking the poison spell, super important. I'm also going to get another poison spell in my clan castle. That's going to really help us in gaining trophies, because that's really where I lose my most trophies is with the enemy CC so catching me off guard. So, go and grab that. Three, two, one. I thought I clicked it, but I missed, apparently. Uh, so, three, two, one. Bam. Okay, and it's only a six hour upgrade. I wonder if it gets two upgrades. Like if I if I go to level three, or uh, yeah, I wonder if I can go to level two at Town Hall 8. I'm not sure, I don't remember, we'll find out. I think we do, yes, because you need, you actually need Quad Quake with Gohobo, or at least I like to use Quad Quake with it. So definitely wanna get the Dark Spell Factory unlocked and upgraded as fast as possible. And then we're back to square one, where we only have one builder left. So I have to make that's going to be a tough decision. Good thing I don't have to make that decision right now because I can go get some loot. So let's see what we can find here, guys. Uh, do not forget to like. Do not forget to subscribe. This is a new series on the channel. It's not new necessarily. I mean, it is. It's a play on the existing series that we have going where we started a brand new series in 2021. And uh, uh, it's now Town Hall 8. So that's pretty awesome. Here in, here in May, which is pretty crazy. Uh, how far do you guys think we're going to get here in 2021? I mean... Uh, if we're if we're gonna go, you know, just continue to advance as fast as we possibly can in 2021. I mean, by Christmas time, do you think? Uh, what do you think? T tunnel 10, maybe? Uh, maybe I don't know. I mean, are we gonna be able to get through Tunnel 9 that fast? I'm pretty sure we will. It's just been such a long time since I've done it that I forget. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm excited to see where we stand a year after the beginning, which was New Year's of 2021. It's gonna be exciting. So, uh, yeah, Bart is great at getting elixir, not necessarily getting the core loot. So, looks like I might actually fail to even win the raid, which would be super sad, actually. Um, what level are these balloons? These are level six. That's pretty good. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything... With these air defenses so close, I don't think I'm... You know what? These are lower level buildings. I'm going to go ahead and send these balloons in. I'm hopefully going to get some collateral damage here and maybe get to 50% in this raid. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. 48, 48, 50. Yes. That is what's up. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Okay, so 50%. So we didn't lose the raid. That was awesome. And uh, too bad I don't have another archer. I can steal that entire gold mine. But there we go. 400,000 elixir or nearly 400,000 elixir. That was awesome. That was actually really great. Okay, so now, guys, after both raids are in the books, what do I want to do? Do I want to get another new building? Dark Barracks? I'm not going to be using Dark Troops for a little while, so I'm not in a hurry on that one. Um, dark Elixir Drill? Free Dark Elixir? Honestly, I'm not going to max... I'm not going to... I'm not going to hurt for Dark Elixir. It's going to be relatively easy for me to get the Dark Elixir I need, so I'm not going to prioritize that. Uh, and then defenses, obviously upgrading defenses and getting the new defenses is a really high priority, but not as high as offensive buildings. So none of the new buildings are now in my top priority list, except for once again, the dark, uh, dark spell factory. So the question remains, what do we do? I mean, okay, so I've nearly got max dark elixir, so I might want to go ahead and upgrade this king just to spend the dark elixir. That may be what I need to do. I've got lots of gold. You know what? I should probably spend some of that gold. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend this gold. So I'm going to move this group of walls over. And... Hmm, this isn't going to line up just right, is it? No. Yeah, this town hall's in the way, that rock's in the way. You know what? The walls can be a little irritating sometimes, you know? But, okay, let's spend a little bit of this gold. None of the, like, first week or so upgrades, except for the Clan Castle, are gold-based. So I'm fine with spending a bunch of gold on uh, the new walls to get them to where they're not a huge weakness on the base. So let's go ahead and upgrade these. I think we'll be able to get them all to pink. Oh, I'm sorry, green. I, I forgot about the, the gold or the sandstone color, so... There you go. So there's that. So we're not going to really get all of them to pink, but we're going to get a decent number of them to pink. Yeah. Okay. So right there, we'll notch that. This should be it right there. Perfect. Very nice. Now, 
move everything down to where it needs to go. There's another purple I forgot about. Ah, moving around and reorganizing these walls may be a little bit annoying, but you know, it works. It's okay. Just like so. Perfect. All right, so that'll do it. Uh, tons of wall upgrades. So now the gold has been spent. Now I need to decide if I'm going to spend elixir or dark elixir. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the king to level six. Dark elixir spent. Uh, it gets him one step closer. And before the power potion effect is over, I want to have him as strong as possible. So 11,000 dark elixir. Three, two, one, bam. And only a 12 day. So basically all of this stuff is is literally day one priority. In in a day, I'll be able to film again, and I'll be able to do another wave of upgrades if I choose to do it that way. Uh, including a lab upgrade, which again, I think top priority is always your barbarians and your archers, but, you know, do what you want on that. Uh, and I've got lots of elixir sitting around waiting to be used, because again, every single army camp needs to be upgraded. Oh, no army camp upgrades. Wow, okay, well that makes <laughs> Town Hall 8 way easier Forgot about that. What about storages? No storage upgrades. Wow, Town Hall 8's awesome. Dark Elixir storage. That is a top priority. Definitely would want to upgrade that. Anyway, guys, I will I'll reorganize my progress base next episode. We'll have a better understanding of the plan. You know what's what's gonna happen and where we're gonna go moving forward. And of course, a brand new base next episode as well. That's it for me today for uh this episode, guys. And let me know in the comments how stoked you are about this new series. Like the video, subscribe, join the class family, and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. Why do I why do I have the Ooh, I get 20 free gems for upgrading to Town Hall 8. What else? Anything else? Yeah, uh I geared up something so I get 10 free gems for that. That's awesome. So I um I'm at 143 gems away from getting the fifth builder. Definitely I'm gonna be getting that here at Town Hall 8. That's exciting. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Don't forget to use code Klaus and remember that the code does expire after seven days. So always go into your shop, look for the little white C. Mine is obviously not there. If I was uh not filming, I'd use the link in the description to input the code automatically on my mobile device. Or, you know, if I want to do it manually, I can do that. I go into my settings, go to more settings, scroll down to the very bottom, and then under enter code, uh, enter code Klaus. And it's a huge help for us, for us content creators. So if you don't use my code, just make sure you use somebody's code. If you guys decide to buy something, it's a huge blessing. And thank you all for those of you that do that. Uh, and remember that it also works in every single Supercell game, not just Clash of Clans. Just a heads up on that. Remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.